Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmad and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to convert blank values to null in SSIS in the data flow task. So recently I got a question from one of my subscriber Javit Nazim and he said that there is a txt file and there are some blank values in the txt file and he said that he want to insert the data into a column with the data type as decimal so the blank value can't be inserted to the decimal so that's why the package is failing so what he want is that he want to convert the blank value into the null in the SSIS data flow task so let's jump to the demo so in my d files location I got this file product.txt so as of now the last value is null but for now let, let me just put some value and that I can show you running the package and then we will see how it will fail when we will convert the value to the blank. So this is my destination table products. If you see the red column, so this is decimal data type. So it will fail if you will try to insert a blank value into this. Okay. So let me create an SSIS package here. So this will be a very basic package, just a single data flow task and we will try to import the data from a flat file. So I can just drag and drop the flat file source into the data flow task and I can configure the flat file here. I can name the flat file connection as flat file and I can browse the file. This is my file product.txt so I can click on open. If you preview the data so this is fine. I can click on ok, ok and then I can use an OLEDB destination to insert the data to a SQL server table. I can make a connection to the work database and then from the data access mode I will select table or fast load and then I will select the products table. If I check the mapping, so mapping is good. Everything seems ok so I can click on ok. Now I can click on start to load the data from the txt file into the SQL server table. So it should be fine. So the data got loaded. So we are good so far and if you check here so the data can be found so everything is fine. So maybe now I can truncate the table so the table is empty ok. So now let me open this particular file again and from the muffin the instead of the value 35 let me put a blank value here so I have removed the value so now this is blank ok so now let's try to import this data again into the same table so ideally it should fail now because there is a blank value and blank value can't be converted to the decimal format so you can see that that invalid character value for cast specification and it is saying that it is failing for the rate column ok so this is the issue so there is one simple solution for this one if your source is the flat file then this is a very simple solution to fix this particular thing ok so first let me see that there is no data here ok so what you can do you can just right click on the flat file source click on edit and there is an option retain null values from source as null values in the data flow so if you click on this checkbox and click on ok and now if you will rerun it then for the blank values it will treat them as null values and then it should be good so now you can see that the data got loaded successfully now and you can find the data as well okay so let me truncate this table for now now think of a scenario for example if the data is coming from a SQL server table okay or maybe the data is coming from another source and you actually want to convert the value from blank to null in the data flow then how you can do that okay so let's work on that one so let me uncheck this one and now the data will come as a blank and now I will convert the blank value to the null inside the derived column. So let me just delete this data path and let me just drag and drop the derived column transformation into the data flow task and let me configure the derived column here. So now what we can do here in the expression we can write a if else condition that if rate equal to blank then what we want to do we want to convert it to null ok and we can use the typecast as well dt underscore wstr comma 20 so if it is blank then we will convert it to null otherwise we will use the original value so I can copy the red column from here and paste it here ok so now this is the condition that if the rate will be blank then it will be null otherwise it will be the original value so that's the thing and I want to replace the red column here ok so this is the only thing that you can write and now I can click on OK and then I can map the derived column with the ODDB destination and uh, if I check the data so the table is empty and now let me rerun this particular SSIS package. So now the data got loaded correctly and it has converted the blank value to the null value in the derived column transformation and we are good here. So I will share this particular maybe this line of code in the description of the video and yeah and I can also share the flat file used here so I think that's it for today's video 
Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.